Hey guys, and welcome to Quality Show and some breaking news as Rafa Nadal and and the big one, Novak Djokovic, seems to have been confirmed for Australian Open 2022. It's going to be an interesting time, that's for sure. He was actually announced in the ATP Cup, which is in Australia as well. Obviously, we know about all the vaccination rules, etc. So you can't play in well, you couldn't play at the Australian Open uh, coming up unless you were double vaccinated. Uh, you couldn't do a quarantine period, I don't think, from what I know. Any longer, they're quite strict on it. Um, the ATP Cup, I'm not exactly sure on the specific rules for that, but I think they were similar from what I've read. So either way, he's been confirmed for the ATP Cup, and then he's also put his name forward for the Australian Open, so obviously you know that before a Grand Slam, players put their names forward uh, to say, look, yes, we're available and we want to compete in it. So very, very interesting. Seems like he is going to play, which, you know, then I guess tells you a little bit about what his vaccination status will be going into it, but that's really irrelevant. All we care about here on this channel is the tennis and not about political views. So look, Rafa Nadal and Novak Djokovic most likely you know, as long as they say fit and healthy, we'll be competing in the Australian Open 2022 tournament and looking both to usurp each other and get that 21st Grand Slam title. Of course, Novak Djokovic has won there nine times. Rafa Nadal just the once, but has made a few finals. Uh, but Novak Djokovic will definitely be the, the favourite there, you'd imagine, with Daniel Medvedev and Zverev very, very close behind in Nadal, maybe in that pack, maybe slightly below that. Uh, I'm happy to say that as an adult fan. In terms of notable exclusions, uh, people that didn't put themselves forward, Roger Federer, we know, would not be playing. Stan Van Brinker as well, the former Grand Slam champion. Bianca Andrescu, uh, she cited mental health issues, which is very much understandable, of course, and hope she recovers. And Serena Williams as well. I think she's got a, a bit of a niggle, so she's got an injury, if I'm not mistaken. So she won't be playing either. Big, big miss for the tournament. In terms of notable inclusions on the women's side, because you mentioned Nadal and Djokovic, a cycle we're playing, which is fantastic. So hopefully, uh, you know, she is fit and ready. And, and it's good that she's, it looks like she's in a, a better mental space, which is really good to hear. And Ash Barty. Uh, so fantastic to hear. Former Grand Slam champions. Thank you very much, guys, for tuning in. Please remember to smash like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Thank you very much.